Hello everybody, it is Andy Smith here, drawing what you might say is the Superman of Canada. That's right, Guardian or Vindicator. He went through a couple name changes. John Byrne's famous character, he uh, debuted in X-Men, I believe it was 109, James Hudson, uh, who would become the leader of Alpha Flight, one of my favorite John Byrne books. Uh, still love it. Got the big fat omnibus, so I thought I'd draw him. And the reason I threw in the Superman reference, guys, if you don't recognize this, I've got no problem saying it. This is a homage, if you will, in all respect to the great Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. This is a famous Superman pose that uh, Jose drew. And uh, what can I say? I love it. I think it's really cool. Sometimes I'll see a pose that I really think is cool and just go, I want to do my take on it. So that's what I'm doing with this Guardian piece. Uh, you guys know the routine that usually watch the these time lapse. I start with the big uh, lead holder, HB lead. It's pretty blunt. I don't like getting it to a point to sketch in the, the first initial steps of the drawing, the shapes, anatomy and such. And then at some point, uh, once I have all that sketched in and I want to start working in details, I will uh, lighten up the drawing with a needy eraser or something like that and use a 0.5 mechanical pencil, same lead, HB, to go in and tighten up the details of the drawing. Uh, I basically do a nice line. Well, you could call it, it's just a nice clean line drawing. It's what I refer to as my breakdowns, and breakdowns are uh, pretty much all the drawings there, the costume details, things like that, but none of the lighting or rendering or anything. And that's what you would give to an inker who would do what is referred to as finishes. Uh, but this is what I ink from now. I don't do tight, full pencils for myself. Um, unless it's really intricate lighting, then I might try and uh, I, I probably will work that out. But for these time-lapse video videos that I do, I don't really get into intricate lighting. I just like to do what I call the generic lighting, which means it's, it's like you're in a room that is well lit. You know, no real strong shadows or anything. Uh, it's... It's kind of how I grew up. Guys like John Buscema, John Byrne, George Perez, most of their lighting was just this overall lighting from the top um, without hard shadows and such. So, uh, yeah, once I get that done, I get out my trusty Raphael number no. two brush and start doing the inking. Always doing the outlining first, maybe some of the costume details. And once I do that, I'll... Uh, get out a 102 pen point and do some of the, the I guess, rendering and more detail work. I like, the, I like the contrast between the brush and the 102 pen point. I just think it gives it a, a, a nice look. And then once that's done, I'll get the brush back out to slap in large, solid black areas and such. And that's about it. I mean, that's my process. Everybody has one. Uh, after years of doing this, I think I'm I'm finally nailing it down to a, a specific process and, and such. So enjoy, like, subscribe, and share the video around to friends. Because of you guys doing that, the channel grows, and I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate all you guys watching. Keep it up. Have a great day. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later and go back my new book, Nice and Tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. Link in the description below to find out more about it. Until next week, bye-bye, everybody. Nice and Tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. This book features 52 pages of some of my favorite full pencils that I did for other companies over the past two decades. The raw pencils as they were seen by the inker, and now you can see them for the first time.
This book also comes in a digital format so you can practice your inking in your favorite program. Back it today. Okay, finishing up with the point five. Now it's time to do some inking with my trusty Raphael Kalinsky Sable Hair Round Number Two brush, my Higging Higgins ink. And as you know, I pretty much ink. Uh, I'd say ninety percent of this is going to be brush. I'll do uh, the outlining of everything first with the brush, and then I'll get into doing uh, the reflections and metal. Uh, rendering and stuff like that with the brush.